there we go. Hi everyone. Hello. We're gonna get uh we're gonna get this thing going. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Uh Larry Rest in heaven, Eddie. That's uh that was crazy news to get today, right? Just I mean, it, yeah, but let's see, alert box is up and working. It's just a little delayed. So um yeah, I had to start off the stream with that. that there's that. Turn that down a little bit for you Rest guys. Heaven, Eddie. Let me know if that was blowing your eardrums out. Tone sign of the uh, yeah, the Power tone. Ranger movie. When you were a kid or whenever you were watching it, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie from 95, when that song, when Dreams by Eddie Van, or, or Dreams by Van Halen, started playing with the fireworks it was it was kid heaven it was absolutely amazing and every time i hear that i think of the power rangers on that balcony with fireworks so it was like the only fitting way to start this video tonight uh as a little shout out to a, a very important soundtrack of my childhood how many y'all have that uh happy tuesday night uh how do you guys have that soundtrack as a kid, I I had it on uh, tape, obviously, but I I, I just kind of want to just get to this, guys. That that this is it. This is uh, I blame everyone over on RRR the streets for having this uh this thing be possible because um every time I had just a little question. Chris Long was like, oh, no, just blah, blah, blah. that makes it sound real easy. Oh, yeah, it's super easy. Just go here and here. And I'm like, this is getting a little too easy, isn't it? To order stuff. Oh, hey, thank you, Mora. 4 dollars Going to get cheesecake for dessert. Sent you a Halloween card. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, DHL is magic. DHL seriously it is magic. It has some sort of craziness to it. Because I placed this order Saturday night. I was in a very good mood because uh, my soccer team won. And so we're going to the playoffs. Y'all would have wished I turned the mic down for that, huh? What? With the delay, the delay, delay finally showed up. Thank you so much. I'm sad that uh, chat isn't working tonight. Like, I, I don't know why chat isn't. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I might just be an idiot. Give me a second. Maybe. We'll see if it shows up now. That just really, really stinks, though, that I don't have uh, I don't have a chat box able to be going tonight for some reason. It just doesn't like me. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> it's full of common writer stuff. Okay. So, for reals, this is the first time I I've ever ordered from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, I have never gotten an actual, like, dry well, first off, I only have one other driver, and it's the Gein Belt, and I just bought it because of um, Team Common Rider and the whole, like, his age generations and stuff, and they're bringing them in. So I just got my Gein Belt, right? But then I realized that for only $40 shipping, I could get all of this stuff at, like, normal prices, and I'm like, so I don't have to go through eBay or Amazon or anyone crazy. I wish this was Twitch, and I could tell you guys to clip this. I'm so freaking happy. I'm also not very strong. I'll have to work on that for my henshin game. Sweet. Oh, my tea. Uh, how are you guys feeling about the theme song? It's been on for a few weeks. I have admittedly only watched the first two episodes, and I've watched the first half of the third episode twice, and uh, still haven't gotten that far. What was the total? Uh, shipping was forty, and then uh, I think it was like one eleven or like one ten for everything else. I think I paid like a hundred and fifty 
and I got all of everything you're going to see. And uh, it was shipped to me from Japan. Again, I ordered this Saturday night. There was an issue because my card obviously tried to decline it, thinking that it was, you know, fraud. So I had to clear that up on Sunday, and it was like Sunday night, my time. It was, oh, okay, everything's cleared, good to go. The tracking came through, and here it is, Tuesday. I got it at like 3 o'clock this afternoon. I cannot believe it. I was just, oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just, just take a peek. Let me make sure I get this all. Here we go. Oh, I got stuff. I'm glad there wasn't like a packing list or something in there with my address. Cause I'm gonna like. <sighs> Let's start. Common <sighs> Rider Blades. This is so cool. So yeah, it's got the Lion Senki book in it, and uh, it's got the attachment for it. And let me actually, I will pull up real quick. I'll I'll pull up like my account and stuff so I can actually tell you guys exactly how much this stuff was because I know you can find it like you can find it on eBay, you can find it on Amazon, but it really is like really expensive and when I found out that I could pay pretty much retail in Japan for it with just a lot of shipping, well this is just this is just what happened. And needless to say, I've already placed another order from them. And then, oh god, I'm doomed. Um, at least so. Here's the fun thing: they have private warehouses, so where whenever something comes out, I get shipped for it, and it just goes into my private warehouse. And then once I get enough stuff, I just figured they figure out what shipping would be for me. Needle Hedgehog. And, uh, yeah, and it just gets sent my way once I clear it. Here's, oh, Storm Eagle. That one had, like, just came up for pre-order. It's for a, something. I'm actually really lucky that I got it. And Peter Fantasia. Yay. Oh, uh, it's... The Biggin. The big end, guys. Just. Oh. I'm so excited. I'm actually not going to open it first. I want to open just some of the Wonder Eye books so I can take a little look at them. Oh, you're so pretty. It's actually what I'm going to do tonight after stream is I'm planning on trying to catch up on Saber as much as uh, possible because it is just so... I really want to get caught up. And I also need to get caught up on um, Cure Major because it's a good thing it's in a box. I gotta get caught up in Cure Major because I've heard that it's just absolutely amazing right now. And I am like six episodes behind, so doing my best to try to get caught up with everything. Oof. There we go. Plastic attic badge obtained, right? Uh, I did, uh, there was a festival of licensing stuff, uh, for Power Rangers today. Um, nothing was really concrete about it, so right now, I think I'm just gonna do Toku stuff. But yeah, I heard about it, and I will talk about it on Friday. On the Ranger Recon Review, actually, no, screw that. I want to do Storm Eagle first, because he just kind of looks like the absolute best. Um, I guess I'll use scissors. To make it not a terrible slit on the tape. I should probably do all of them. None of these things are staying in the box. None of them. In fact, I'll be lucky if I can get through like three days before my three-year-old finding them. And just trying to start playing with them. Because that's, that's what kids do. Okay, here we go. There we go. Storm Eagle. I don't know what the sounds are going to be for it, but here we go. Oh, look. There's bubble wrap. Inside. Okay, so empty box now. Inside, you get some wonderful instructions that are probably all in Japanese, so... I mean, I'll see. Maybe there's a little English subset. Nope. Nope. And the back is blank, so... 
that is also a big nope. So, hey, that's fine. Uh, if I need to, to get into knowing what's more about it, I'll just watch Chris Long's uh, Long Stories videos on YouTube. There's a, there's a free plug for you, buddy. He, like, he literally reviews, like, everything. So if you ever want to watch a Toku review, just just go follow him because he will take care of everything. And with this... Oh, wait, is this like a... <laughs> oh, eh, it opens. Ta-da! Let me pull the... Oh, okay, so, hey, the button's on the bottom, which I'm... Okay, I've apparently changed that. Hoorah! These things are really small. Whoa, there's like a lightsaber sound in it. Um, so I've got pretty small hands. Like, I have pretty small girly hands. And, uh, wow, you really keep going. You talk longer than I do. Um, these things are pretty small. So, here's this. What do I have that could be a comparison? Oh, um, God, we're all old. This is... <laughs> you know you guys you keep things on your desk that are just little mementos that... Um, you, you know, you just always have on your desk. This is my original cartridge for Pokemon Red from when I was a kid. Like, I went to Walmart and bought Pokemon Red. This is my original cartridge. This is the original cartridge next to one of these books. Right? Uh, yeah. They're not the the biggest, but honestly, for my hands, they are pretty. Why? What is with the lightsaber sounds? Loxy, yeah, Cordell, let me grab a Loxy for you. And then um, I can show you a progress key as well. So here, oh my God, that button. Okay, don't touch the bottom. Oh, thank you so much. Comment writer, Deno, $2 through the Super Chat. Thank you I so much. I just bought, ooh, the Figu Art Saber from Toku Collectibles. I will be getting the Figu Art of him. I got the, uh, well, he's back. Yeah, actually, you can see him right there because I don't have any headers or anything. Uh, yeah, I got a Ruto up there, like the base one that's like 35 bucks. Um, I got it for him. Here's, here we go. Size wise. So yeah, you're looking at about the exact same height as a Loxseed. A, a Loxseed is a bit chunkier though, but not, let me try it. I know it's kind of awkward for me to try to be lining up, but, uh, yeah. So if you're really looking for a comparison, Loxseed and Wonder Red Book are about the same. And uh, progress key. I only have one. This is the only progress key I have. I told you this is this is so new for me. Usually I don't get things until they're like on clearance somewhere or uh, you know bundles on eBay where you can get them for cheap. Uh, let me go right that way, maybe to try to show you. Progress key is bigger. I would say by about a quarter of an inch, and thickness are. Right about the same, I would say. Like, when you open the Progress Key versus when you open your Wonder Ride book, you can see kind of the that same thickness right there. Yeah, so, I hope that helped. Uh, why does the Loxy look bigger than I thought it was? They are... They're beefy. Like, these things. Um, oh, I'm starting to put it away. Look, okay, this was Storm Eagle. I have nothing else to show you, and it's just going to keep... Just I just threw it on a blanket down there. Um, I'm going to have so many problems with these. Oh, by the way, Needle Hedgehog. So this guy, again, instructions. Can't read them, so meh. I love the color, though, especially because we just got done with Zero One, and I was a huge fan. This is I know with my lighting, you're probably not picking this up very well. But this is a very fluorescent 
yellow color. Maybe that'll help you just kind of see exactly how bright that is. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the... There we go. Waha. That's good. Okay, kind of a, the same thing. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks. So, Commander Geno said uh, there's a Japan release and a U.S. release. They're both the same thing. U.S. release is 38 bucks and will come in March, which is going to be a month after Japan. So, ooh. In that case, I might wait to see if I can get it from Team Common Rider. And I know some people are like, why didn't you wait? Why didn't you wait? Because at this point, it's been a while, and I'm not sure um, if they're going to get them. Uh, I, I know they've said they're going to try to do, like, the accessories. I'm trying to... How do you open that part? I don't know. And also, yes, we've definitely got to get a Waz book because that would just be an absolute waste. Uh, can I try? Here we go. Hey, there we go. Oh. This is, this is actually a birthday gift for my brother-in-law, but because COVID, um, his birthday was like a month ago and or more, and I have no idea when I'm going to see him. So I just sent him a picture, and I was like, hey, don't don't buy this. There we go. You can at least see him a little bit while they're down there. And this last one right here. Good. I did cut it. This one is Peter Fantasia. I don't know what I'm going to do with the boxes. I don't want to get rid of the boxes. I just don't know what I'm going to do with the boxes. And... Peter Fantasia right there. Let's see. And the end. I was hitting the button. These really are novels, man. Um... So I'm guessing you have to have it in the, you have to have it in the sword driver to do this. I wasn't spoiled. It's totally worth it. They do. They look so good. Um, $38 is, yeah, man, he's, oh, he's sitting. Shout out to my, my sister Kelly, the mod. Uh, it's her husband, actually, that's getting the, the figure. So there you go. Don't buy it. And now, I'm going with the big one last. It's just a thing. Lion Senki. And for the life of me, uh, yeah, Susaiken Nagari Emblem. I didn't warm up the, uh, I didn't warm up the words. So, pronunciation's not good. Come on! I don't wanna break you. But I will if I have to. Kind of like a motto of life. Ooh. Open! Ooh. Hey, it's plastic and more little pieces of plastic crack. What do we got? Mm, okay. Empty uh, boxes. I guess I could, I mean... Look, this is a Liz review. This isn't like a real review. This is a I'm freaking out about this review. Y'all know how it goes. But the art on it is a, is really nice on the box. And I'll pop these guys out. This um is going to look a lot different, of course, once it actually gets on the sword. But attaches right here. Got some screws. Nice and... Eh, how well you can... Maybe see through it like this, but you can definitely tell there's some design and stuff in the in the plastic there. So no tags or anything on him. And it is time for Lion Senki eventually. And I forgot to put Peter Fan. There we 
we go. Now all of my new book children are uh, are here. The last, well, until I get to the, the Henshin belt. Lion, Senki, Roar! Oh, that's so cool looking. I already know I'm going to be playing with these things, just flipping them open. Well... Lion Sun Key. Hear me roar! Roar. And now... I gotta get it in the belt, because... I want these things to be open. So much plastic crap. I'm gonna get it all. There's no more money left. Okay. Just want to take a moment and savor this, because this has never happened before to me. So, I know some of you are like, you guys are, you were really excited for this, Liz. I've, I've never had a belt this new, let alone within less than ten episodes in the series. First time I've ordered something like this directly from Japan. And yeah, this is going to be a new background. Okay, don't open it. No, oh, no, be wary. Uh, I heard the emblems don't like staying on. Whoop. Ah, oh, take a moment to savor this. Imagine this is the gif. Get out. I love stuff like that. Although I really do love that gif also of saying get out. <laughs> oh, that was a scratch in the box. It's a good thing this is mine. <laughs> er. Okay. Stupid question. Is it an actual belt? Yes and no. Yes, you can actually wear it around your waist. No, it's probably not going to hold your pants up. It also probably won't fit around your waist because, well, we're Americans here and we need belt extenders. <laughs> These are also made for, like, seven-year-old Asian children. So, not exactly 33-year-old white American. I like fast food. Let me say that down real quick. Um, cardboard with the instructions, which again, don't um, matter. The back of the box has my instructions on how to make the henshin go henshin. Right? That's how it works. Let's make the henshin henshin. Do, do, do. I need a spot on my desk to actually like set that down. It's you know massive. Bubble wrap. Okay. Uh, where to start? Um, I guess I can get these out because these are clearly just gonna go back in the packaging. But uh, this is the belt middle part. Here's the other part of it. And yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of what that is. Uh, no bubble wrap because it's in this wonderful cardboard. Brave dragon. Hey, <laughs> I might, like, just carry this with me in my pocket now. It's just a thing to carry, because they're really cool. Ah! Especially if you have smaller hands like me. Let's see, uh, belt stuff to keep them together. Uh... 
flame dragon. <laughs> flame dragon. Wait, wasn't that wizard? Ta da! Emblem. Oh, uh, this also has doo -doo -doo, the plastic kind of showing through, like you can tell patterns and design and savers. Um, a saber in your hand, gonna drown your bank account. No words will save this loan. No, no, I didn't take out a loan. But no, I'm just kidding. No, Are there are no batteries in this. I don't. I don't know what this means. Do I have to get batteries? I was not. The other ones all worked. Um. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Oof. Okay, well, here's this part of the belt, at least. Um, hey, Emily, I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. I might have to take a break and see if I can go find some batteries somewhere. Yeah! Wait, is it? Saber like left handed or something? No, that wouldn't work. It's gotta go like this. <sighs> and the batteries came with our device. Yeah, so I don't even ah uh, This puts a hamper uh on my wanting to do this. So I don't even know what these bad the LR44 I understand but I don't even know I guess until I take this apart I don't know what the battery with a symbol and a 4 on it means which is unfortunate what is this this feels like it could come oh it's probably where the batteries go okay so hey figure out where I should um no, it, it apparently needs two different kinds of batteries. I'm guessing, like, some double A's and then, or triple A's. Yeah, so I'm gonna go find and see if I have some triple A batteries. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Um, again, first belt. <laughs> I did not, I know not what I do. So, emblem. But, tension. Wait, yeah. Well, it at least looks really cool now. Thank you! Yeah, that symbol. I'm like, yes, that'll be my clickbait. Gone wrong! So, that looks really nice. So, that is sabers. Oh. And I have blades actually right here. So, you can also see how that it really protects your hand. Does not give you, uh, doesn't give you much room, but that's fine. Again, I have a small hand, so I mean, I kind of feel like it doesn't really that. It works. It can work. Um, yeah, so. Take that off. And. I have to tell myself when I start, like, throwing toys and stuff that, um, these are literally made for kids to play with. So, I have to. Be okay with that if they fall and they get injured because they were made to be played with. Because they are toys. You are a child's play thing. Hey, that's where it should do something. But look, I got the book open, so at least we can see him that way. Um, me. Brave Dragon. How many can we put in here? Yeah, you'll make sound. I should already tell myself to stop buying these. This is gonna be way too much fun. So, uh, let's go Brave Dragon. Storm Eagle. 
Vision. Uh, hey, so there's Storm Eagle is like an arm and a body. Then we got a body and more of an arm. Uh, what do I think of the theme song? It's growing on me, seriously. It's it's really catchy, and it gets stuck in my head. And it's to me, I think it's going to be a lot like Decades theme to me, where it doesn't have to be this, like, da -da 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 -da, just in order to, like, get with you. Um, yeah, so it's, it is really growing on me, and uh, I found myself kind of dancing to it. And then my kiddo listened to it today, because I, well... She wanted to listen to Be the One by Beverly because this is a normal occurrence at my household. And I was like, hey, you want to hear the new song? She dug it. So that made me happy. Uh oh. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. The saber in my hand. I'm probably going to break it all. So we go. We got Lion Zangi. And let's go Peter Fantasia, because that's also bluish. And watch out. Let's get a look at the insides of these. This one is Lion Senki right here, the inside of it. And this one right here is Peter Fantasia. I feel like I need them differently to make them all work. Like, Lion Senki should be there. And then, wait. Then it's just kind of this, like, rah, one giant body of I'm gonna eat you or something. I, I don't know. Um, these are neat. I don't think a uh, hedgehog is gonna make this work any better. But why not? Why not increase Lion Senki's power with the power of Peter Pan and a hedgehog? Rah! There we go. Uh, <laughs> these things are so neat. Oh man, uh, Donnie, thanks for um, thanks for joining in, man. Uh, I hope all of you guys are doing all right. It's this. This is neat. I'm just gonna be playing with these a lot. I on one hand, I was like, I just kind of want to open them alone, just so I could just sit there and gawk at them and didn't have to try to talk, but. Uh, <laughs> you you guys knew that it would is gonna look like like this. Ooh, what's up, True Common Writer? Oh, reviews. Yeah. So I take these out. Um, does I'm just trying to see if any of the batteries go in the actual belt. But I don't see, like, a speaker or anything, so I don't think so. Um, I guess they'll go in these. Hmm. Well, I am gonna have to go see if I have batteries. The, uh, LR44 ones... Okay, we're going to write this down real quick, because y'all know me. I'm going to get up there, and it's going to go in one ear and out the other, and yeah. So, okay, I need, what, like three or four triple A's? What is this? Three triple A's and two LR44. All right. Hey, stream, I will be right back in a few minutes. I have got to go find a... Oh, I don't, maybe I don't need a screwdriver for that. Maybe I can actually poke it with something real quick. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that answers the question of the double A's. But where do those other batteries go? That's like... what? But where? Looks normal, looks normal, looks normal. All right, well, I'm at least going to go grab those batteries, and uh, yeah, I'll be back ASAP, like, five or less. Oh, there's so many boxes.
Well, I guess good news. I did uh, I did find some AAA batteries. Woohoo in the battery drawer. And they were actually not just loose. They're in the package. So I'm pretty sure these things should work. On the other hand, I have no... No, I do not have LR44 batteries. I oddly have LR43 batteries? I don't even know what those things went in. Um... I know, was it like, excuse me, it's like CR2032 or something? I know that battery because that is the one that goes in my Go Plus for Pokemon Go. Because I... <coughs> I mean, woo! I clearly did not squee like a small child. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Get in your home. Aha! Yay! Okay, so. Yep, there's the off button. That freaking tool driver. Okay. Does it do anything? Okay. <sighs> Take you off. And you can go on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. No one hit that. I actually need that one. Uh, Put the emblem up to the end to have it match. Like... Like, in that end? Or... Ah! Okay. Brave dragon. Hydrogen! <laughs> oh, someone sent that to to Bandai when we're asking to bring common rider toys over here more. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Storm Eagle. Hashin. I need to learn how to do this henshin. I need to learn how to do this henshin. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, let's get lions. So, off. Meh. Okay. Uh, end. Woot! Neato! Thank you. So now I'm blue. And then, of course, you can get, like, the yellow one and all the other ones, which, who knows at this rate, because... I'll be honest, I kind of had a really good month on the channel last month, and uh, I blew all of it on Common Rider Toys, <laughs> which is fine, because that's what the channel, like I say, I when I get stuff, like, anything I make from the channel, like, goes back into the channel that I bought. I bought toys to review for the channel, right? Shh, right. Do you know if I was a business, I could write these off for tax purposes? Not even kidding. If you do a YouTube channel, you should talk to an actual accountant. Anywho, let's do Lion Sun Key. It's an investment. Woo. All right. All right, come on. No. Eh. No. Close. Shh. He's not open because. There we go. Wait, wait. Try that again. 
Yeah, yeah. Why isn't there? Does it not play the background music for him? Oh, oh I hit the button. Question. There we go. No, oh, Nito. Eh. Eh. There we go. Oh, okay. So now he also gets Peter Fantasia. He has to put the book in it while the sword is still inside it. Does I pull out? Won't read it. you in and then neat well this is gonna be fun uh that is I'm going to put uh saber back on. Wait. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Galaxy, this is this is legit. This is the the first time I bought a writer belt that's like new like this. So yeah, I had to go find batteries and stuff. This is all new. I love it. I am having fun. Uh, I hope you guys are having fun. There's a lot of there's a million other things you could be doing on a Tuesday night, but you're watching me just smile and and get new toys and that the thank you for that. Just hanging out and having fun. Okay, so here we go. Uh, oh, hey, look, I hit the button. Welcome to the downward spiral of your wallet. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so if I put it back in, that one closes. Pop in that one. This is a little x80 to me. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. I was trying to get it to where you can see a little, a little better. Like in his wondrous picture. What? <sighs> well, I know it's going to be protecting me and my family tonight. From intruders. <laughs> I'm just going to be playing with this. So, so not just, just these, right? So, I got, um, they're open orders because they haven't been fulfilled yet. Like, they're not out yet. But I also got in a pre-order for the Sengoku one, for so the Guy and Wonder Ride book, uh, the X-Aid one, and the Build one. Because X-Aid was like, well, Gaim was my first writer, and I introduced it to Keith, but we fizzled out, like, halfway through, just life stuff, and never got back to it. He started watching x binge-watched the entire thing, then we started watching Build together, and once he got to a certain point, like, episode 30, I'm like, you can't watch this anymore without me, and so we just finished it last night. We just watched the last three episodes of Build, and uh, it was great, because it's been a while since you've seen... Since you've seen someone's reaction to episode 47, like, for the first time, who had legitimately no idea what was going to happen, he was 100% spoiler-free as to what happens in Build. So seeing his reaction to some things was really, really, really amazing. Uh, so, yeah, those guys, um, all of those, if you were wondering, are... Do, do, it, it goes by exchange rate. Let me toss. There we go, so I can see all the chat again. Oh, show. I got ahead of the mods on that one. It was the hotheads, uh, hotheads, uh, chat there. 
the, the filter was like, hey, do you want? And I'm like, yeah. So, oh, it's everyone. So, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Lion Senki right there. Needle Hedgehog. Oh, man. Keith, oh, Keith's in here. He's going to hear how much I paid for all these. So, each of the, so Peter Fantasia, Storm Eagle, and Needle Hedgehog were $10 each. That's just like the exchange rate as of right now. Um, I think they're like 1100 yen. So, I mean, expect around 10 or $11 each. So, yeah, they were $10 each. So, paying $10 for each of these, if I actually sit and think about it, I should not. But right now, they're giving me so much joy and happiness that these are worth every single penny. Uh, let's see, what else did I pay for? The, uh, uh, Nagar Emblem and Lion Senki Wonder Ride book. That was both of them. So, that was this guy right here and his Wonder Ride book. This, for both of them, was twenty two fifty seven, And then... This beauty right here, the Saiken Swore Driver, was $63. So, total, it was 115 was that what, that was not with shipping. No, I paid 115 and then it was 40 to ship it. So I just, I really needed some retail therapy. I am going to lie to you on this one. I really just needed some retail therapy. Life was a little crazy and everything kind of like smoothed out. You know, my dad's okay. Nobody had COVID. Like things, you know, life flew around like two, two three weeks ago. Things were a little crazy. So I, um... Yeah, I celebrated with with getting this guy right here. Um, and, oh, so the other Wonder Ride books that I have the pre-orders for, the uh, Guy and Build and x ones, those are the same price. Those were $10. And I also got something else, but I actually can't say what it is because Al Maxi's in the chat right now, so I can't say what it is. But he'll, you know, eventually see it when he gets it and for Christmas. So, you know, ta-da! They're already getting all of my money. You're welcome, HLJ. Um, if you're interested at all in in checking them out and just being like, hey, how much would it cost? It's completely free to, to just make an account. And what you can do is you can just make a wish list of things, put them in your cart, and before you put in a dime, it will give you a shipping estimate. And so for me, when I saw I could get all of this and it was only $40 a ship, I was like, to get something in two to three days for $40 from freaking Japan is okay. That's a good deal. But it goes by, by size because they have like set size boxes. So like if it fit in this box, it was going to cost $40 to ship. Basically, whatever they could shove in this thing, it was going to be $40. Because, like, I wanted to get this. It was a uh, vinyl of Tiramigo. And I really wanted to get it because it was only, like, $9.50. And I'm like, oh, that'd be a cute add-on because my daughter really likes Tiramigo. Um, she she really did love Kirami uh, Tiramigo. And to add it, it would make it into a bigger box. And it was going to make my shipping jump up to $100. Take that one out. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was super duper easy. So if you are interested at all in it, I I mean I really recommend them. Everything was in English. Everything was super duper easy to order. It made it it's it's a really easy to use website because that's me like trying to order stuff. I get you know you get flustered. I'm like I I don't understand the language. I don't understand what is this like the prices. I mean you hit I want prices in dollars. Great. It's it's a really really easy to use website, so I know I will be using the get then again for a lot, a lot of things. Yeah, Alamaxi actually wanted to add extra stuff to the list. That's why I didn't order it on Friday night. I was gonna place the order Friday night, but I didn't because he was looking at stuff, and then everything he wanted was out of stock. So, yeah. Yeah, premium Bandai game items. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not, not, I haven't hit that premium Bandai yet. For the, for size, I guess I could show you. This is what a lock seed, uh, would look like in it. And then can here is ah, it's too wide, but you can kind of get the idea. 
of what that would look like. Uh, what else am I planning on getting for Saber? Um, I don't know. I'm really, really happy with this. And because I usually don't get anything. Um, oh, yeah. I have a gas shot also. I only have one. Um, but it's actually up in Almaxia's um, studio right now because when he was watching X8, I had to. He was like, hey, this is what one actually feels like. And he's just like, flip, 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 flip with it. The exact. Oh, man, Cordell, that's, that sucks. Same thing happened. He was ordering some Ultraman vinyls. Toss and tear, amigo. Eh, not so much. Not so much. Am I just going to do this all night? Yeah. So, I guess I should say, what am I... Am I planning to get anything else for Saber? Right now, I don't know. I want the Kiva book, but it's a TV Coon uh, magazine thing, and it's out, so I kind of just keep checking, and eventually, you know, one of them might come in stock, but... Oh, well. Um, but I will probably be keeping an eye on it for Ultraman stuff. But it's out. Um, oh, excuse me. But they didn't really have anything other than, like, the new metal sets and stuff. So, nah. it was great to fiddle with. I love, yeah, I have hands. I have a fidget cube um, on my desk that I had to move off for this. But this will probably... It will turn into this until I get sick of accidentally hitting the button and making it really, really loud. And then I might just have to just take the battery out of one of them so I can play with it. Same thing because with my Progress key, again, this is the only one I have. Um, yeah. I accidentally hit the button all the time. I'm so, like, I'm so happy and fortunate and thankful that, like, I get to do this. Because, like, the world's kind of on fire right now, and people are in bad shape, and sometimes I just really gotta sit back and be like, damn, like, I'm really lucky. So, I really try not to take this for granted, the fact that I get to buy these and, uh, and get to enjoy them, because this is, this is so much fun. I'm a huge, you guys over the years, just writers taking my heart, everything. Absolutely love writer, and to be able to have this is just really freaking cool. So, um, I'm actually, you know what, I'm probably gonna wrap the stream up in, like, maybe, like, five minutes or so. Um, choo -choo. anybody got any last questions or anything? Um, I know that, so this weekend, heads up, Ranger Week interview has to be live. So, I had a family thing come up on Thursday and Friday, and there's just no absolute way that, uh, that I was gonna be able to try to film Thursday night, stay up late, wake up super early on Friday and get it out to you. So my plan is to just work extra hard on the live stream and try to make it the best I can. So be on the lookout for that at, I don't know, maybe like 8 or so. I don't want it to be too late because it always runs over the streets, guys. But we'll see if, uh, yeah, we'll see if I do 8 or so. But I have to do that live. And there's definitely, which rider series is the best one to start with? I just got done finishing my rewatch of Build, and it was absolutely amazing. Have you touched the books with the tip of the sword? No. Ah. <laughs> he was probably like, you have the wrong emblem on this. Uh, Forza is good to start with. I've heard Forza is like, I've heard it's really good. And I really want to watch it. Um, it's just him, people, Dano. Dano's such a great so on. Build, Zero One are great. Uh, did I watch the first Rider series? No, the first Rider series I ever watched was Gain. Uh, which is why it was the first ever, and I know it's leaning over, but I promise I really love it. Um, that's why it was my first ever belt, because uh, it was, it was Gaim, but 
really the best way to start with a writer is simply look at like look at the suit, look at the theme. I uh, Kiva was one of the first ones I watched because I love vampires and like the mythology and stuff of vampires. So I went with Kiva and I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you really like video games, try X Aid. If you're a fan of like time travel and stuff like that, Deno or Geo is a really good place to start. Uh, Forza is like space, making friends, like in high school. So there's a uh, drive if you just like, I kind of like cop shows and cars. Try, try, drive. So there's just so, so many amazing seasons out there that if, if you really, there are vampire power rangers. No, no, Kelly, we're not talking about power rangers. We're talking about common rider. The, all the, the big armor ones. Actually, there was Vita from Mystic Force was a vampire for like an episode. Does that count? Her mom was a vampire and like queen of the underworld. Oh God, don't start with Gio. You need to know too much. I won't argue that one. Vinny, I won't argue with that one. That's actually going to be one of the tough ones because, um, so Keith watched X8 and then Build. But then I'm like, I don't know if you're ready to just go into Geo. Although he might just really enjoy looking at the different suits and see which one he wants. But he's decided that um, we are going to... He wants to watch Saber. So guys, this is really exciting. I'm. He's even talking about maybe wanting to do like a show. So for all I know, we're going to have uh, Thursday theories with Alamaxia. And he's going to do something. But I'm not pressuring him to do that. I'm just saying... Saber to game, yeah. So he's wanting to uh, to actually really watch it, and he's been loving it. And being able to watch Kamen Rider with somebody who's like loving watching it is just so much fun. That speaks English at a higher level than a three year old. So yeah, so he's gonna watch Saber, and once we're caught up with that, he's uh, we're gonna be doing a Gaim rewatch. So prepare for that on my Twitter feed. Lots of Gaim. Oh. Um, Twitch or YouTube? Mora, I will... You let me know what you want to watch, sweetheart, and I will let you know where to find it, but I promise you, you're not going to find it. You're not going to find that YouTube. I have a lexicon next to me. That's... Yeah. All he has to do is go, what is that? And I go, what do you want? Do you want, like, the one... It's always, the, like, do you want the one-sentence answer? Do you want the one-minute answer? Or do you want me to actually give you the answer? There are three different ways I can respond to any question related to Power Rangers or Tokusatsu. And I'm I'm really, really happy with that. Um Yeah. What is bleh? Alex, you failed. Alright. But guys, this has been about an hour five. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed uh getting <laughs> just getting to see me. Like, this is it. This is so fun. I'm going to be just running around my basement with this and messing with all of the keys, not having our keys, all the books, not worrying about being loud for you guys. But thank you all so much for, for just hanging out. Off, off. Excuse me. But, yeah, so thank you guys so much for, for hanging out, for being here. Thank you for the super chats. Uh, Larry Denno, Moira. Um, I know I can find... There was. Oh, come on. You're being dumb. I'm checking all of this. So, Deno, Moira, Larry, and thank you for the subscribes, uh, the Doctor's Tardis, and Boken Black. So, thank y'all, everybody, for being here. Um, I really appreciate it. I'll be seeing you online. I'll be seeing you live Friday night, the Ranger Week in Review. Everything Power Rangers. Everything Tokusatsu every Friday. No one's told you today. I love you. I think you're awesome. Stay awesome. Mwah. Toodles!